A mobile billboard blasting Education Secretary Betsy DeVos and it's making its way all across Michigan as we speak. That billboard is aimed at driving home a message. The people behind it say DeVos's policies calling for schools to reopen, putting children in danger. Grant Herms tonight caught up with the billboard as it makes its way all across the state. They're calling it a billboard, but it's actually a truck with three LED light panels on each side. It'll be making its way across the state, starting in Detroit and ending in Grand Rapids. The message on the truck, a direct attack on Secretary of Education and Michigan native Betsy DeVos. The billboard is actually three of them, rotating every 90 minutes with slogans like stop hiding in your mansion, start protecting our kids. And while in Metro Detroit, it stopped at the offices of Senators Peters and Stabenow, Representative Debbie Dingell and the Trump campaign. Protect Our Public Schools is the group behind the ads, a collection of teachers and parents upset about the Trump administration's push to reopen schools. I, as a former teacher, am very appalled by what's going on with Secretary DeVos. Ellen Offen is the vice president of POPS. As a former teacher, she said she wants more from DeVos to give schools safe options this year. She said she's been doing puzzles and riding her bike this summer. Well, that doesn't help our kids. When schools don't have what they need, children don't get what they should. The billboard tour follows comments from DeVos last month claiming kids don't contract coronavirus. Kids are actually uh, stoppers of the disease and they don't get it and transmit it themselves. DeVos's office did not respond to our question for comment about the billboard this afternoon. And we should note that DeVos is incorrect there when she says that in Michigan alone, there have been more than 6,000 cases of kids contracting COVID-19. As for that billboard truck, one of the stops was actually here at Local 4. It was here for about 45 minutes before it made its way out of Metro Detroit. It'll be in Holland and Grand Rapids later this week, where it'll be circling the DeVos's private mansions. Back to you. All right, Grant.